Hey guys, so people requested for this tutorial a lot in the past few weeks when I did my blown out braid out pictures above or videos above. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. So pretty much, I just washed my hair in twists. I did not unravel them at any point. Just shampooed, rinsed out, deep conditioned, sat under the hooded dryer, medium heat for 15 minutes, went back into the shower, and sat out. Now I just have plastic shower cap that I got from Jamaica Heat in order to kind of preserve that moisture within my hair. So we're just gonna get right into it. So we're just starting with this bottom little twist here. Also started doing or trying to do these days is oiling my scalp. So this is castor oil, wild growth hair oil, and a bit of peppermint oil. I'm just gonna put like a little smidge in my root. Not too much because the oil can be quite runny. Put it on the end. So I just massage that in a little bit. Then we can go ahead and unravel this twist. All right, so first thing we're going to go in with is our leave-in. The leave-in I'm using is, of course, the Strength and Restore JPCO Conditioner from Shea Moisture. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible because I know how my camera is. You're going to want to tell me, oh, you are out of storage. Just coating that section with that leave-in conditioner. You can be quite generous with it. I try not to be too generous with it because we're going to blow it out anyways. So you don't really want your hair to be dripping in product when you put your hair in the rubber machine especially because the instruction manual did say that if your hair is dripping wet when put into the machine then it could actually cause the machine to pretty much malfunction. I don't want that because this is a very expensive machine that I spent no money on thankfully because it was one in a giveaway. I do have a backup machine because my boyfriend won one as well. If you know, you know. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I'd rather not damage it anyway. So let's comb that out. And if you ever want to loosen it up a little, you can always spray it with water. Okay, so I think... This section is detangled enough, so the next thing is our melted shea butter mix. This is literally shea butter, a little bit of castor oil, some of this essential sweet orange oil. And we're going to put that around the perimeter of the hair. I like to try to focus it towards the bottom, coat those ends, because it's winter as well, you know? You want to make sure your hair is completely and utterly moisturized. And I kind of try to comb that out, make sure it's evenly distributed. If you're new to natural hair life, don't follow that combing method I just showed you. Always try to just comb from the bottom to the top, which is from bottom to the top of your hair. It's just safer that way, but I feel like sometimes I start from like the middle and I just go down. It isn't always the best idea, but you know, I've been doing this for a long time. So I kind of just feel like this is my groove and I'm gonna stick beside it. And then this is my kind of heat protectant, Keratin Restructurizer by Afog. And we're gonna use that as our heat protectant today. I'm gonna make sure you coat that whole thing. I'm about to use high heat for my rubber. And although the rubber is meant to protect against heat damage, it is never enough. So let's be a little cautious, shall we? Pretty much what I just showed you is what I'm about to do to every single section. So remember the first thing I did was I just oiled my scalp and a little bit of the ends of my hair. And then I went in with my leave-in conditioner and I combed that out. Then I sealed that leave-in conditioner with my shea butter mix. I applied my keratin restructurizer as a heat protectant because we will be blowing out our hair today. And then we just go in with our red hair. And we're going to do this to every single section. So I blow dry section by section. I don't do it to my whole head all at once. I just do section by section so it can get a proper stretch. Okay, let's do it. That feels very soft, actually. Very soft. So this is my little red hair comb that I use to comb out my hair when it's blow dried because my other comb is wet and it's just gonna cause the hair to revert, which wouldn't make sense after blow drying it. Just gonna comb that out. Ooh. Music licensing. Good. Reimagine. Give me one sec. Let me just ask my mom to braid it because she's better at that than me. Okay, so I am back. My mom braided the hair. I don't know, she just does a better job versus me, so. 
Next thing I'm going to do is curl these ends because I noticed that I do do braid outs. The bottom of the hair tends to be very straight and the top of the hair tends to be a little bit more curly because it has more of the braid in it, if that makes sense. To avoid the straight ends, I'm going to just flexi rod the bottom, by curling it or twisting it around the flexi like that making sure it's all covered. And then I kind of bend the flexi rod around it, like that, every which way, kind of. <laughs> it might kind of decrease or shrink the length a little bit, but that's okay as long as the ends are curled. And in order to secure it further, I put one of my little hair elastics around it and I wrap it around twice. So make sure it's actually securing the hair itself to the flexi rod as well, right? There we go. We are secure. And I leave it like that. And now we can move on to the next section. So, just for the sake of my battery life, or my storage life on this camera, I'll come back. I'll show you guys how it looks with all the braids in. I just wrap my hair up in this little bandana here. But this is pretty much how it looks. As you can see, I put the flexi rod on pretty much all of it. So that it can pretty much curl the ends, but it kind of weighs it down a little bit too which I like, not complaining about. And when I'm ready to take it out, I'll show you guys Music. that process. Sorry, just wanted to take a moment to appreciate just how soft my hair was after blow drying each section. Honestly, that shea butter really does miracles, but of course you have to go in with the leave-in before you go, with, go in with the sealant. That's why my leave-in conditioner was put in before the shea butter mix. So note to self, always put leave-in and shea butter before you blow dry your hair. Thank you. <clears throat> Alrighty guys, it is now ooh, okay. It is now two days later, and of course I'll be taking down the braids. So this is how they look after two days. Tried to keep them as flat as possible with my wrap and my do rag. And now we take it out. So I'm gonna try to do this semi quickly because I do have work very soon. So remember, I put these on the ends in order to curl them. It's not going to be a perfect curl, but I just want to give the ends a bend because typically when you blow dry your hair, it tends to come out with the very straight ends, regardless of the stretched braid out. Yeah. So I think for the next time that I braid it up, which would probably be tonight, I'm definitely going to do bigger braids or less braids because it's just more efficient that way and it kind of creates like a similar braid out style even though the braids are bigger okay i think i'll come back when they're all out hi hi so you're okay out yeah why all right so we're gonna take it out now so i just literally unravel from the ends so this is pretty much all I do. I just unravel from the ends all the way to the top. When I do get to the top, I make sure to kind of separate them at the roots by pulling them apart gently. And then that kind of causes individual gaps within the individual pieces like that. And you just kind of separate them where you see it making that gap. Sorry guys, I can't concentrate on speech while doing this. <laughs> oh, forgive me. But yeah, that's pretty much how it turns out. Let's go ahead and do this side. So I try to twist it in the opposite direction, right, like that, until I see it unraveling like this. Keep in mind that all these braids have a two-stranded twist at the very end of it. So it's three-strand braids down, then two strands at the very ends of the braid. Just because I find it's easier to take it out that way, I just pulled this one apart. I'm going to separate it at the root and do the individual separations. Feels really soft, by the way. That shea butter really did wonders. So see, curling the ends definitely did it justice. Otherwise, it would have literally just been straight down, which would not look too cute. Okay, so I'm gonna pretty much continue doing that same thing all over my head, just unraveling each braid very carefully and then separating it at the root and then going in and individually separating the sections. Alright, I'm finally on my last section. So like I said, I just unravel it in the opposite direction. Then what I do, I kind of like poke my finger through just right above the separation. So it was separated here. So I'd poke my finger just right above that up here, right? Just so I can get another separation. Once I get that separation, I try to just 
pull the individual strands apart carefully so that it's still separated but still maintaining the curls. Continue to do that all the way up. And sometimes if you braided properly enough prior to all this, you could just go like this and sometimes it'll unravel all the way to the top. Then you just further separate. Alrighty, there we go. That's pretty much my braid out. So it could definitely be a little bit fuller, I guess. But you know what? I might just leave it as is. See, this is all right. Some can be further separated. And I'd like to take a little bit of this sheen spray that I got for my birthday years back called Shine Boss. Honestly, sometimes I really just use it because it smells really good. It's from Aunt Jackie's. I like to just put it on my fingertips, even though my hair is oily enough, and kind of just touch the hair with it so it has a nice little sheen but also a nice smell to it too. And I think next time I'll try to curl inwards because this is kind of cocking out to the side a little bit. But yeah, this is how my braid out is looking. To be honest, I think this is probably the best one so far. I really like it. You can kind of see the sheen just a little bit. So that's the side. See, if I didn't curl the ends, it would just be like cocking out side. This is the back, the other side. I really like the results. Again, I would just do this part different next time. Like I wouldn't make it curl outwards, I'd make it curl inwards instead because it's cocking out a little. I'm just gonna try to, yeah, I don't know if I can get rid of that. <laughs> but it's all good. The good thing about this style is you can always rebraid it into a different style the next day. Not a different style, but you can definitely do like less sections for the next day, which I think I will because ain't nobody got time to braid this whole thing, sorry. But yeah, you could definitely do less sections and it would still come out very similar. But yeah, this is all I have for y'all today. I will just leave it at that and I'll continue watching my show Sisters until it's time to go to work because it's getting very, very juicy. But yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. This was That Brady Check showing you how I do my stretched braid outs or braid out on blown out hair. Also, can we get into this brown lip liner times clear lip gloss combo because I am in love. And if you were afraid of my last video, I kind of showed how to do like the stocking cap method with my hair blown out. So if you want to check that out, it's right up here in the cards. Feel free to check it out. That's all I have for you guys today. Alright, so catch you guys in the next video and again, thanks again for watching and always remember, natural hair grows, don't you forget it. Bye.